Hello everyone, this is David at Grow and Eat This. It's Wednesday, November the 11th. It's like 70 degrees and it, it's not raining, but it's the drizzle, the it's, it's lousy. It's going to be cold again this weekend. Now, these are some of the beds that I had the turmeric and the ginger in. So I know that soil was pretty well depleted. So I have added a, I filled it up with compost and then I picked up some, some, at the local private nursery, I picked up some dried up chicken manure to fertilize it with. Plus I've added some regular of the Esposa garden tone stuff. So I'm hoping this soil here is going to be pretty good. Um, I don't like broccoli at all. My wife loves it. I don't even like the smell of it cooking, but I decided to I had a little space here, so I decided, well, we're going to give her some broccoli plants. So I picked up six at, at Lowe's, and I'm going to plant them in here. But I can tell you, there are still plenty, plenty of caterpillars and butterflies around. So these are going to have to get netted. So I'm going to be planting these, and then I want to show you what I want to do with the, how the netting is going to come out. When I get done building another set of nettings, this is what it's going to look like. And you can see their stuff under both of those growing really nicely. Now, this is half inch PVC. These are some weird angle fittings. I got uh, like 25, 30 of them off of Amazon. You can get them uh, by the one e twosies at, at Home Depot and Lowe's when they're in stock. Remember that you need at least four each time. These are PVC half inch. And then this beautiful stuff here is wetting tool, T-U-L-L-E. Uh, I get the 108 inch by like 50 yards. And I think it's, I don't know, $30, $35. Uh, unbelievably inexpensive when you look at what you can do with it. And then on Amazon, you can get these blue half inch PVC clips. And these are just absolutely the greatest thing going. As you can see, just clamps right on. Now, there's no snags. When we had a little cold snap, I covered, I just put right over the top of it. As you can see there, piled up for next week, and there piled up the uh, the row covers. See, there's the stuff just growing like crazy. And my, my favorite bit to it is that you can see through it. So, you can see if it's weeds or vegetables. So, let's step up here. There's Chinese cabbage, just going nuts. Bok choy. Still got a few marigolds, Swiss chard. Oh, and of course, we always have the weeds. The weeds do great. Now, here's a couple more uh, bok choys. And the rest of those plants there are all cauliflower. And somehow or other, I've still got a couple tomatoes here that I managed to keep going, and I'm, I'm like praying you know, if the weather will be just right, I, I might actually get a tomato here by Thanksgiving. So, let's get back to our broccoli planting, and then we'll start building this cage. Alright, this variety of uh, broccoli is Green Magic Hybrid. It's a bonny plant. They had two kinds. This was the better looking of the two. We do have some roots down here, so we're going to put these in right there. It's pretty good. I know broccoli can get a little, a little big in a heartbeat, so I'm only going to put two in each of these. I know if I really wanted to go for go nuts, I'd just put one, but I have X amount of space and two each will work. Since this soil has all been prepared and everything, it's just use your fingers. Okay, I think I've got a couple cauliflowers or something that I'll put down there in the bottom there. Let me go get my materials to uh, start working on our, our caging. All right, this is the half inch PVC, it comes in 10 foot lengths.
please, if you're doing it, measure. Mine always come out looking so nasty. Oh, maybe I should go there. Let's try there and there. These are the greatest invention ever. Four or five clips. And you have a clean edge, nothing on the inside. Really beats the hacksaw method. Okay, there's one link. I need another one the exact same length. That one. And this one. Okay. Now we need these two pieces. If you even be close on the measuring, I'm going to put the fittings on. So, we want this going this way. This one going this way. I need the down pieces. These guys can get pretty tall. So I don't think these pieces will be big enough. Okay, now let's see how it fits the best way. So it looks like it might fit the best set up here on the outside.
Either way works fine. It keeps bugs out. Even a klutz like me has managed to build this frame, so you know you can do it. Take for this one, which is like seven feet by two and a half feet by maybe three feet tall with what's pounded down, took three ten foot half inch PVCs. Takes four of these funny end fittings and it will take four to eight of the blue clamps. Now I need to go get the tool fabric and my scissors. Alright, I've measured the tool out even though I know you can't see it. But the uh, spooky part to it is what you can't see is four, four layers thick. So. Need to take these things off Just start on one corner and pull. There you go. And off it comes. See? No damage here, no damage here. So now what we have is four layers of this. As you can see, this easily reaches the ground. And it easily reaches the ground over on this side. So we're gonna get good protection here going to do is come down here by the ground, grab a bunch of this stuff, squeeze a clip on it, and come up here to this side and do the same thing. All the way down to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom, tuck it in so you don't trip over it. Put a clip on it. Now, same thing on the other side. Make sure this reaches down. Grab all this stuff up, tuck it into here so we don't trip over it. Take these off. And there you go. I'm going to take this little piece I have here, wrap some of this excess I have over here around it. That tucks it up. Got this short piece here, we'll do the same thing. go. Now our broccoli and stuff is nicely protected from the caterpillars and the butterflies. That's all it took. Even filming it and everything took 20 minutes. This is David at Grow and Eat This. Zone 7. Lawrenceville, Georgia. November 11th. And somehow or other supposed to be in the high 70s today insane for November weather but hey this has been the year for insane things thank you for watching please subscribe if you want more of these kind of videos hit the little bell button so it'll let you know when I put new ones up and once again I really appreciate you subscribing and thank you for watching